Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for June the 23rd of 2020. Well, it is titled the X ray sky from E Rosita. So what do we see here? Well, this is looking at a X ray telescope which is in orbit around the Earth. Now X ray telescopes must be used from orbit because X rays do not penetrate the Earth's atmosphere. And in a way that's a very good thing for those of us here on Earth that we're not constantly being bombarded by X rays from outer space. But for astronomers, it means that telescopes must be up above the atmosphere and able to detect these. Now X rays are just like visible light except much more energetic so very high energy, but they're also a form of electromagnetic radiation just like visible light. But because they're such higher energy, they trace some of the higher energy processes. So when we look at the sky and our image today is a full sky view uh, taken by the X ray satellite, what we notice is that it doesn't look very familiar to us. For the most part, we don't see all of the stars, we don't see all some of the galaxies we see, but other things are actually very bright. So it tells us that the universe looks very different at different wavelengths. And you can also notice that if you move the mouse over the image, uh, it will actually annotate and label a number of things for you to be able to see. So we see a number of X ray sources, some are black hole candidates like Cygnus X one over on the left hand side. And we also see a number of supernova nova remnants such as Cassiopeia a very far to the left on the top, and others that are labeled as supernova remnants or SNR. Uh, we see another one that's not a supernova remnant itself, the Crab Nebula off to the right, but we don't see the, the nebula itself, we see the Crab Pulsar. The Pulsar is the collapsed star at the center, and it is very young. The supernova only occurred about a thousand years ago as seen here on Earth. And it is extremely energetic, even in the X-ray portion of the spectrum. So we can see that there. And a lot of the other things that you'll see are labeled as clusters and super clusters. So galaxy clusters also have a lot of high energy gas that is heated to very high temperatures and gives off a lot of X ray radiation. Now we can also see as you look at the uh, galaxy there, this is centered on our galaxy towards going towards the center there. So the central portion would be our galaxy. And we can see uh, the uh, that there is some um, a big spur of material going around our galaxy called the North Polar Spur up and around. And this is a part of a bubble of material being pushed out from the center of our galaxy due to the intense activity at the center of the galaxy pushes out this great bubble. It makes it look so large only because we're so close to it is occur it is occurring right in our galaxy. And we would see could perhaps see things like this in other nearby galaxies as well. But of course, they would look much smaller being at a greater distance. So a lot of different things that we can see there in including uh, things like uh, black holes, uh, pulsars, neutron stars, supernova remnants, and even entire clusters of galaxies. So it tells us that studying the X ray sky gives us a completely different view on the universe compared to what we get with visible light, which is one of the reasons astronomers study the universe across the entire spectrum, not just visible light and X rays, but also things like radio waves and infrared and ultraviolet rays radiation to be able to get a complete picture of the universe. So that was our picture of the day for June the 23rd of 2020. It was titled the X ray sky from E Rosita. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be inverted cloud city. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone. And I will see you in class.